Hi there, Rory from Data Spinners. Today I'm going to talk to you about X and Y for objects in Power Apps. So if we jump onto uh, any app really, and if we uh, if we just pop in a label, it doesn't really matter if it's a label or a button or whatever it might be. Um, what you can do is if you actually look at the X um, coordinate, then you see that's 40, uh, and if we drag it across we can see that the X is moving across and if we look at the Y coordinate um, you can see it's 44 and you can see if we move it down and so on then it moves about the place um, and of course you can as well as getting the uh, dragging it around you can also put something like 300 and you can move them around so pretty straightforward I think the only thing to say on it really is that um, if I was just to, I'm just going to do a little blank screen here. Um, the only thing to really say about it. So we just draw. If we just draw on the board here, then what we can see is that X. Oops, behaves normally. That's fine. Uh, but Y is a bit different. Normally Y would be upwards, and Y is goes downwards. So. You know, that's 1, that's 10, that's 100, etc. So, um, now in previous um, videos, uh, I've shown how to use variables. And um, rather than get into too much detail on that, what I wanted to do is just show you um, a bit of use, how to use variables with your X and Y coordinates. So, um, what you've got here is... Um, the minute you click on this, it sets the GV Stone Guide X to 608. It doesn't really matter what the number is. And then you set the uh, uh, GV Stone Guide Y to 83. And what that basically means is that when you hit the when you hit this, it goes to one position. And when you hit this, it goes to another position. But they're just driving two different um, variables. And you can use them in all sorts of ways. So um, if we look at, I think it's it's certainly it's the background image there. And so if you look at this image and you look at the Y coordinate, you can see it's a GV stone code Y. Um, and this is the, believe it or not, the GV stone guide X. So I want to keep this short. So that's all I've got to say on the subject. We um, In the next session, we will look at X and Y within um, within forms. And I actually think that's quite a bit more, I'm going to say interesting, but um, yeah, but it's quite uh, an important feature. So thanks for that. I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye.